The U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency warning people about another potentially dangerous drug. It's nicknamed the zombie drug. Now, it gets that nickname from the severe skin lesions that people sometimes get when they use the drug. Anthony Montalto spoke with the health department today about the drug's effects. He joins us in studio with more on what makes this drug different and possibly more dangerous. Well, Frank and Lori, it's officially called Xylazine. Its street name is Trank because it's commonly used as an animal tranquilizer. Marissa Cody with the North Central Health Department says many of the people who get access to the drug don't have any ties to veterinary medicine. What's really scary about this is that um, we have, it's, it's not an opioid. Opioids are a class of drug that produce morphine-like effects. They're generally used for pain relief and anesthesia. You may have heard of a dangerous one, fentanyl. But if treated in time, someone can survive an overdose. We have Narcan or Naloxone, which reverses opioid overdoses. Xylazine produces similar effects to opioids, but it's different. There's no treatment approved for human use. It's virtually rendering Narcan ineffective. Even if someone mixes xylazine and fentanyl. That's because xylazine still suppresses the central nervous system. It's not um, detected in any of the routine toxicology screens either, and so we don't even know how widespread this truly is. Still, Marissa Cody with the North Central Health District says Georgia saw an 1100% increase in trank overdose deaths between 2020 and 2022. People are able to get it online, you know, through the internet, and it looks like it's at a really low price also. That's why Cody says people often mix fentanyl with xylazine. It's cheaper in the long run. Cody says it's a widespread problem. Every single xylazine involved overdose death in Georgia, all suspected overdose deaths also involve fentanyl. Now, Cody says because xylazine doesn't show up in most toxicology reports, the number could be much higher. She encourages people to be vigilant about anything they buy off the street because it could be deadly. Back to you. Thank you, Anthony. Cody says while some do intend to use xylazine, many don't know what they're th taking. We're taking a closer look at xylazine usage in Georgia. The state went from 23 trank deaths in 2020 to nearly 300 in 2022. And seven central Georgia counties, including Monroe, Bibb, Crawford, Houston, Trutland, Crisp, and Telfair, all reported xylazine deaths last year. Three years ago, the state says less than 1% of all reported drug overdose deaths involved xylazine. Last year, that number bumped all the way up to 9%. Xylazine involved overdose deaths increased at a faster rate among women than men, but a greater proportion of deaths occurred among men. Xylazine involved overdose mortality rates among blacks were lower than rates for whites.